students and parents. Um, Missy is at her dad's uh, for the next two days, so I thought I'll just have a go at doing a quick activity for you today, and then we might have a, a day off tomorrow and wait till she's back on Wednesday. So I've got the laddie uh, stepping in, so I'll try and do my best with him. He's a little bit fidgety at the moment. He needs to sleep and he's refusing to sleep. So I'll try my best. Now, this morning's activity is looking at uh, rounding. Okay, and a little bit of place value because you're identifying numbers. And the first thing I want to show you is a poem so you can remember how to round. Okay, so find the number. So identify the number, look right next door. So look at the number to the right. Um, four or less, ignore. Five or more, add one more. Okay, so you always round up. So anything from five uh, and above, you round up. Anything from four and down, you round down. Okay, so what we're going to do, you need a dice. You can, if you've got multiple dice, that's good. First of all, identify what number the student's working in. So if they're working in the hundreds, they can just use three dice for a younger students. If they're working in the tens, if they're preps, they can just use two dice. Uh, we're going to work in the hundreds of thousands. Okay, we don't have six dice, so all I'm going to do is just use one. If you don't have a dice at home, you can just write numbers one to six on a piece of paper and just pick one out and then write the number down. So my first number is a three, so I'll write that down. Three, next number is a six, next number is a four, next number is a five, next number is a five, and the next number is a six. Now, I've got a six digit number because I'm working in the hundred thousands. My number, get the student to read it out, is 364,556. Okay, it wouldn't hurt then to get the students to identify where they sit in the place value. So you've got units, tens, hundreds, thousands, tens of thousands, and then hundreds of thousands. All right, so get them to label them, identify them, where they sit. And then what you're going to do is just roll a dice. Okay, if the student is only working with three numbers, okay, you might just want to write the numbers one to three on a piece of paper and then get them to pick a number. If they're working with four, do the same. We're working a six digit number, so six sided on the dice, so we're gonna use six sided dice. Roll the dice. Okay, I've got five, so what I'm going to do, always start from the left, from the units, I'm going to count five, my fifth number, so I'm identifying my number here, one, two, three, four, five. So I've found my number, okay, I've looked right next door, okay, it's a four, okay, so if it's a four, we ignore, we round down, if it's five or more, we add one more. So we're gonna round down with this one because it's on a four. So my new number, so this is my number I've identified, find the number here. Sorry, Addy's moving the board. Uh, look next door, which is a four, so that's four thousands. So we're gonna round down. And my new number would be 360,000. Okay, 360,000. 1000 because these all turn into zeros because this is a four we round down Sorry writing upside down here is a bit tricky. Whoop! Addy moved. So 360,000 Okay, sorry, it's a bit wonky. Can you read that? 360,000 Okay, so that's rounded down that one now anything in front of the number obviously stays the same because that's not the number you've identified. Okay, do another one. I've got five again. So if it's the same number again, just ignore it because we've already done that. I've got a six. So my sixth number would be, my sixth number is the three here. I look next door, it's a six. So I'm gonna add one more. So my new number would be, Three hundred and seventy-four thousand 
370,000 it would be, because I've added one more. So my new number would be 370,000, because I identified the number, which was, uh, where are we looking at? We had a six, so it was a three. This was my number, I identified the three. I looked right next door, it was a six. Six, so it's five and above, add one more, so I just add one more, and these become noughts, zeros, I should say. Okay, do one more again. Two. So I've identified the number, so we're looking at the two. So this one, look at the two, look right next door. It's a six, so we add one more to the five. So my new number would be 364,560. 364,560 because I was looking at the two and I looked next door and it's a six. Sorry guys, it's moving around. It's a six, so I add one more. So that five changes into a six tens instead of five tens. Okay, does that make sense? Hopefully it does. Uh, I'll try one more. Okay, one. So this time I'm looking at the one. I've got one on the dice and we're looking at the units. Okay, because you can't look right next door on the one because it's the last digit, you just look at that digit. Because it's a six, okay, you add one more because there's no numbers to the right. Okay, so that new number would be 364,550, sorry, 60 I should say, because you add them to the tens. So that's six units, okay. You round that six units up to the nearest ten, okay, and it changes the five tens into six tens. So it's to be three hundred sixty-four thousand five hundred and sixty. Okay, now you can get the student to round each time from this number, or uh, that would be the best thing to do because sometimes the rest of the number will turn to zeros and they'll have nothing to round. So just focus on the starting number each time, okay. Get them to write down the poem, find the number, look right next door, four or more, uh, just ignore five or, sorry, five or more, add one more, four or less, just ignore. All right, there's different ways of saying it. Find the number, look right next door, four or less, just ignore five or more, just add one more. Okay, whatever works for them. Um, Get them to do that multiple times with, with different numbers. So roll the dice again. Okay, get them to do that. Remember, if you've rolled the dice and you've already rolled the number, just ignore it and roll it again. Yeah, what do you reckon? Um, hopefully that makes sense. Sorry, it's not very neat because I've got a little nine month old on my lap fidgeting around a bit. But hopefully it makes sense. Uh, you can adapt it to suit you. If you've got another way of playing it but that's just an idea of how to play it. Identify the number, look right next door, four or less, just ignore.